How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be building a little book nook, or what I'm going to call a nano nook, putting it inside this baseball display case. I had a leftover model from my last build decided to incorporate that and make it the centerpiece of this build. This is Vader's TIE Advanced. It is the ship you see him flying in A New Hope during the attack on the first Death Star. Masked off everywhere that needed to stay black. and I gave the rest of it a nice coat of battleship gray. Then used a glossy black to touch up the windshield and dry brushed on some details. I will include all of the paints that I used in the description so you don't have to worry about those as they fly by. These Bondi models come with a nice little display stand. Some of them come with an extension arm, as you can see here. I repurposed those to be the arms that hold the ship in place from the ceiling of the hangar. I found these awesome little nano LEDs online. I used them in my K2SO build to light up his eyes and figured they'd be the perfect thing to add to this build. Nice and bright and very tiny. I then began designing the back wall. It's nothing too crazy. Just use a couple of reference photos and got a general idea of what the inside back wall of an imperial hangar looks like. A while ago I put together a Millennium Falcon model and I had a leftover ramp which I repurposed for this build. I've seen various pictures showing how pilots get into their TIE fighters, but never one specifically for Vader. So I decided there was a little bit of room for a creative interpretation. And I made him a fancier walkway down to the ladder. Once that was done, I glued it in place and added a few extra details for visual interest. I then primed the whole thing with some black spray paint, cut out some stencils for markings on the floor. Then mixed up a nice medium gray color, which I airbrushed on every vertical surface. Once that was done, I peeled off my mask and I applied a gloss varnish to the floor to give that nice reflective imperial floor look. With all of the painting done, it was time for final assembly. Put all of my electronics back in place and included this little silhouette in the observation room. And then connected everything to an old USB power cord. C 
sealed it up and called it good. I am going to be giving this away to one of my subscribers. All you have to do to enter into that is leave a comment, make sure you're subscribed, and if you want some bonus points, share it somewhere. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.